In this video, I'm going to be remaking Minecraft, but four times and with four different time limits. I'm going to be making Minecraft in one day, 10 hours, one hour, and 10 minutes. Let's see how the games turn out. Before I get started on our first game and try to make Minecraft in one day, 24 hours to be exact, I wanted to set some rules. Of course, any game developer could just remake Minecraft. And when I say any game developer, I mean, besides me, I tried remaking Minecraft before and I managed to make a cube. So I wanted to try something different. With each Minecraft remake I make in this video, I wanted to make it something different. Take the concepts of Minecraft and turn them into a completely different game rather than a 3D sandbox survival game. So let's get started with game one. For the first game, I wanted to make a top-down 2D survival game. It was basically going to be Minecraft, but 2D, but not a side-scroller 2D because I've already done that. It was a top-down 2D. To get started, I imported a player sprite from this free art kit and recolored it to look like Steve. I made a simple movement system and then I added some trees. I added a health bar, a hunger bar and a hot bar and things were starting to look like a top-down 2D Minecraft. I then created some wooden tools including a sword, a pickaxe and an axe. The next thing I needed to add to the game were zombies. I added some zombies by taking them directly from the game I'm currently working on called You Probably Won't Survive. You Probably Won't Survive is pretty much a zombie survival game where you can chop down trees, build, and try to survive waves of monsters. It's pretty much Minecraft as a top-down survival game, so make sure to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the development of this game. But anyway, after adding the zombies, I added a randomized spawner that would randomly spawn them throughout the map. And there we go, the time was up, and our first game was sort of complete. It was more of a prototype, but Minecraft made in one day. And here we are, Minecraft is a top-down 2D survival game. I've got my tools that have spawned here. I can pick up and uh, I can also drop like so, pick up a sword, cool. And I've also got an ax. I've got a working, working uh, hot bar there. As you can see, I can switch between items and uh, a zombie has just spawned, so I can, I can just... Uh take care of him like that. So yeah, pretty much the whole point of this game is uh, just to survive, really. Of course, I can uh, take out zombies by hitting them with my sword, but really I just got to survive as long as possible. Yeah, everything seems to work pretty well. This is a pretty good starting point for a, uh, a project. Of course, there's a lot more that could be added to it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. Minecraft is a 2D top-down survival game where you just got to take out a bunch of zombies. Before we move on to the second game, a lot of you guys always ask, what's the best way to make games? And to answer, that I have no idea but I'm starting to figure it out and that's where our sponsor of the video comes in Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members from all around the world. With you guys always asking the best way to learn game development, I'm happy to say that Skillshare is one of the best places to start. I have personally been using Skillshare to further develop my game development skills, specifically with Unity and 3D game development, as, you know, this was my Minecraft remake. On Skillshare, there are hundreds of different game development classes and classes on other skills that help with game development. A class that was really helpful for me was called Blender 3D, Your First 3D Animation by Southern Shoddy 3D. Learning how to use Blender is super important for 3D game development, and this class helped me better understand how to use Blender and how to animate in the program. Now, if you would like to join Skillshare for yourself and get access to this course and thousands of other courses, the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So if you want to learn game development or continue to grow your game development skills, join Skillshare today. For the second game, we had 10 hours and I wanted to make something a little different. I wanted to make Minecraft as a shoot 'em up game. To get started, I implemented assets from my Minecraft 2D remake. Now, the first thing I needed to add was a gun for Steve to use. Instead of using the arm aiming system from my Minecraft 2D remake, I made this. Now that we had an aiming system, I implemented a shooting mechanic. Now, I needed to add some zombies. The zombie AI was pretty simple. The zombie would simply move in the direction the player was and look in the direction the player was. Since the game also had platformer mechanics, I needed the zombies to be able to jump. I simply implemented an alarm that would make the zombie jump every four seconds and this worked, I guess. Time was running out, so I added a scoring system and here we go. Minecraft as a shoot 'em up game made in 10 hours. And here we go, Minecraft 
to just shoot them up. As you can see, I've got my character here. He's got his gun, and uh, there's a bunch of zombies around the place. So we can shoot them, and um, we can get some points. As you can see, the game is 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 kind of glitchy. Uh, there's a zombie walking... Wa <laughs> <laughs> Zombie just walking through the wall there, which is um, pretty good. So yeah, pretty much the whole point of this game is just to get as high as a score as possible. Uh, but there's no zombies that actually spawn. It's just the uh, it's just the eight or so that are, I, I put in the game. <laughs> yeah, so maybe first impression the game looks pretty cool, but um, the more I play it, uh, <laughs> other than that, it's uh, a Minecraft 2D shoot 'em up. For the third game, I decided to actually try make Minecraft as a 3D game in one hour. To get started. I opened Unity and imported Unity's first person character controller starter asset. I then created a cube which was used as a floor and created some materials. I created trees and things were actually not looking too bad. I only had a little bit of time left so I added a few more cubes and Minecraft made in one hour was complete. Alright and here we are in Minecraft made in one hour. So I can walk around this 3D environment here, I can press space to jump, uh, we've got trees, we've got grass, this is uh, pretty good. <laughs> and then of course I've added some blocks here so uh, you can jump on top of the trees, do a bit of this, bit of this. Yeah, it's not really a game. Uh, it's more of a more of a prototype similar to uh, a few of the other games in this video. Now for the fourth and final game, I wanted to make Minecraft as an endless runner in 10 minutes. I started by making a player sprite, some graphics, a jumping mechanic and some blocks that would spawn. And there we go. We made Minecraft as an endless runner. And here we are in Minecraft endless runner made in 10 minutes as you can see we've got some obstacles and we can press space to jump uh, yeah it's literally just the same two obstacles over and over I, I didn't really and and I just I just lost obviously 10 minutes I wasn't able to create too much of an advanced uh, obstacle spawning system so uh, yeah these two obstacles over and over that's that, that's all it is but yeah you can jump and land on top of the blocks as you can see there but if you if you run into the side of the blocks like so the game will reset but yeah Minecraft endless run <laughs> so yeah, that was Minecraft created four times with four different time limits. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And remember, the first 1,000 people that use my link in the description get a one month free trial for Skillshare. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace.